Hello and welcome to an Excel bot tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you which operation each comparison operator performs in Excel. Comparison operators compare two values and as a result produce a logical value, either true or false. Comparison operators are generally used with logical functions, such as if and or when setting or checking a condition. There are six comparison operators in Excel. They are equal sign, greater than sign, less than sign, greater than or equal to sign, less than or equal to sign, and not equal to sign. Let's go through each of them one by one and see which operation each one performs. Here we have values in cells C1 and D1, and we will perform example operations using them. So let's get started. The first comparison operator we will look at is equal sign. Equal sign denotes equality. For example, C1 equal D1 equals false. Or we can use values instead of cell references. 6 equal 2 equals false. Because 6 and 2 are not equal to each other. The next comparison operator is greater than sign. Greater than sign denotes inequality in which the left side is greater than the right side. For example, 6 greater than 2 equals true. Or instead of values, we can use cell references. C1 greater than D1 equals true. The next comparison operator is less than sign. Less than sign denotes inequality in which the left side is less than the right side. For example, C1 less than D1 equals false. The next comparison operator is greater than or equal to sign. This operator denotes inequality in which the left side is greater than or equal to the right side. For example, C1 greater than or equal to D1 equals true. Or we can use values 6 greater than or equal to 2 equals true. The next comparison operator is less than or equal to sign. This operator denotes inequality in which the left side is less than or equal to the right side. For example, C1 less than or equal to D1 equals false. And the last comparison operator is not equal to sign. This operator denotes inequality. For example, C1 not equal to D1 equals true. Or again, we can use values instead of cell references. 6 not equal to 2 equals true. Because 6 and 2 are not equal to each other. So these are comparison operators that are used in formulas in Excel. Let us now write a few formulas in which comparison operators are used with functions. Our first formula will contain the if function. Equal sign if the if function checks whether a condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false. Our condition will be if c1 is greater than 5. So if c1 is greater than 5, the formula should return the yes value. If C1 is not greater than 5, then the formula should return the NO value. A closing parenthesis, I will press ENTER on the keyboard and the result is YES, because C1 is greater than 5, or in other words, 6 is greater than 5. Now let's write a formula that contains the AND function. Again, equal sign, AND. So the AND function checks whether all arguments are true and returns true if all arguments are true. AND C1 equals 6, D1 equals 5. A closing parenthesis. So this formula means if C1 equals 6 and D1 equals 5, the result will be true. Otherwise, it will be false. 
Let us press enter on the keyboard. The result is false, because although c1 equals 6, d1 does not equal 5. Since only one of the arguments is true, the formula returns false. Our next formula will contain the sum if function. The sum if function adds the cells specified by a given condition or criteria. Let us write some values here. 3, 4, 15, 8, 21. Okay, now let us write our formula. Equal sign, sum if c1 to c6 and our criteria will be greater than 10. A closing parenthesis. So here the sum if function will first check which cells in the cell range C1 to C6 have values greater than 10 and then we'll add them. I'll press enter on the keyboard and the result is 36 because only 15 and 21 were added since only they are greater than 10. So this is how comparison operators are used in formulas in Excel. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.